So once again for the Saturday morning edition of the Law and You, they have their coffee. They're ready to take me to the 399 <laughs> breakfast buffet you know afterwards. Going. Attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed oh. Serimboli, thanks for being here. Hey, let's get to work. Yeah, I can't wait for this breakfast. It sounds uh, pretty up there. <laughs> Here's our question today. Uh, this one involves uh, a lease situation here. My mother owns an apartment building and the one uh, tenant refuses to pay rent. What do I have to do to get them out? There isn't an official lease. Liz and Dalton wants to know. Well, Liz, uh, because there's not an official lease, I mean, basically they're on a, you know, they're going to be month to month essentially, uh, but you're still going to have to go through, you know, a formal eviction process. Uh, you know, the landlord tenant laws, the way that they are situated, uh, you're still, even without a lease, uh, you know, you're still going to have to go through, uh, you know, that process of formally, you know, evicting them. So, you're gonna it, it's you're gonna have to go to the magistrate. You're gonna have to file you know get eviction uh, you know paperwork and notices done in order to you know get them you know get them out. Yeah, and if there's a way to get her out without without having to go to court, we highly recommend yeah. that because it's just a call for from a landlord's perspective, it's very difficult to get tenants out. There's a whole process. You have to give a notice to quit. You have to serve them get an, a, a judgment against them, then move for order possession. It's a long, complicated process. And the truth is most of the tenants out there are going to be what's called judgment proof, and you're not going to collect your money. So if you can do, get them out, just get them to leave without no self-help. Don't force them out, shut their electric off, their water off. If you can convince them to leave because they're not paying to avoid it, that's your best bet. But if, if you have to and you got to go to court, probably get a lawyer, give you a hand with it and work your way through it because there's nothing like having it, someone in your apartment who's not paying and it, it's just it's a bad scene. All right, our viewers who need some legal direction maybe with landlord tenant issues, how can they sure. get a hold of you? Well, one, we don't do landlord tenant, but we can clearly refer you. You can give us a call at 570-714-HURT. See us on the web at 714hurt.com. And, and Greg's right on the money. You know, you got to make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed because if you miss one thing, then, you know, they have rights and you got to start the whole process all over again and it, it, it can be very time consuming. They don't do landlord tenant, but nope. they do do a mean breakfast buffet. Oh. <laughs> Results matter with attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Serimboli, guys, thanks so much. Time to eat. See you on All Monday. Right. All right, so here's the ways to get a question here on the Law and UPAHomepage.com is one. The Law and You hotline is also open as well.